Hey, it's your open source advocate, and every week I bring you new open source self-hosted software that is absolutely amazing. I hope you'll like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this channel so they can come along on the journey with us. Now let's get started. Hey, it's your open source advocate, and I'm back. I've got another video for you, and this week I'm talking about something that's fairly basic and fairly simple, but super useful. As I've been making my switch from Windows to Mac over the last... <laughs> Who knows how many years I, I still have to use windows pretty regularly for my my regular day job the one thing that i've found that i don't have that i was looking for is a really good easy screenshot tool um, so i was really looking for a kind of the all-in-one and there may be more than this but this is what i came across and it's called flameshot um, it's out on github and it's basically what you see here this this little gif kind of plays and it darks out the screen and you highlight what you want and you take your screenshot and then you can basically right there just go mark things out and draw lines and arrows and all kinds of cool stuff which is exactly what I'm looking for I just need some simple markup tools and then give me the screenshot and let me send it to somebody if you want to install Flameshot there are installation instructions here on the github page and I'll link this in the description you click on installation and find your distro that you want to install on so as you move down, I'm on Ubuntu 18.04 plus, in this case Zorin OS 15.2, but that's 18.04. So I'm going to use this command here. Now, it says apt install flameshot. I actually need to use sudo apt install flameshot. So I've already got flameshot, but I'm going to run the command anyway. So sudo apt install flameshot. Put in your super user password. And it'll tell me in this case that it's already installed, but if you haven't installed it, it will go through the install process. Once you've installed Flameshot, you want to open up the configuration panel. And the first thing out of the gate when you come to the configuration panel, you'll see these two options, which is your color pickers. So this is my primary color by default, but you can change this in the actual screenshot tool. And then this is your secondary color. So you just select which one you want to change. Then turn this thing over to whatever color you want, and you can turn this around to wherever you want on the chart and then you can kind of set this to how dark or light you want it to be and then over here you can set the opacity level so opacity should be opposite of transparency so if you want more transparency set the opacity lower if you want less transparency set the opacity higher uh, so we're going to set this right around 50 percent where it was down here are all the tools that you get along the bottom bar so if there are any of these tools that you don't use you just uncheck them and then move on Next, you come to the tab that says uh, the name editor, file name editor. So down here, I've kind of set up this pattern. So you just click on the button you want, and it adds that to the pattern that's in place. So if we just erase everything that's here, I can set up uh, day name, and then hyphen, month name, and then hyphen. I'm just typing in the hyphen. And then we can put in uh, two-digit year, hyphen, and time in this format right here and then we can say save because that's what we want it to use and it shows you down here what it's going to look like finally on the graphical uh, side of it they've got these three checked by default I checked this one that says launch it at startup so I want this tool to be launched at startup so that it's ready for me to whenever I want to use it if you don't think you'll use it that often you don't really probably have to check that but you can once you've done that you just want to close the configuration tool and the next step is to understand that there is a terminal command to run this. So it's flame shot GUI. So flame shot space GUI. When you do that, it's going to bring up the flame shot GUI, which is great, except now you have to take a, a screenshot of whatever's in front, and in which case is always going to be your terminal. Maybe it's smaller, maybe you can move it out of the way. You can do it from the CLI. But I want to go set up an actual keyboard shortcut. So that's what I did. So for me, I go to Settings. And this is probably going to be the same on any system that's using GNOME or GNOME, uh, GNOME Shell. But when you go to Settings, you actually want to go down to Devices. Maybe it's named something different. They may have grouped things different on uh, Zorin. But I go here, and I'm going to go to Keyboard. And here I've got all my shortcuts in the system. So I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom. I'm going to click on Add. I'm going to name this flame shot and the command is flame shot space GUI flame shot GUI and now I want to set my shortcut so I want to say what keys do I press to kind of trigger that so I'm very used to doing this in Mac OS with command 
which is the Apple key in, in Mac OS or kind of next to the where the alt key is on a normal keyboard shift and four so alt shift four I'm gonna do control shift four in this case and it's gonna put that in there in this case it sees that as control shift dollar sign which is fine uh, I don't think that's already taken I'm gonna hit add so instead of typing that I can do control shift and the number four and it does the same thing so when I get my terminal out of the way and I want to take a screenshot of the hotkeys. Control Shift number four. I highlight the hotkeys here on the screen. And then it even tells me, hey, you can make adjustments to that to that layer if you need to. So I'm just going to use the left arrow key to make sure I get all of the information I want in there. And then I can grab my, my different items here from the bottom to do some markup. And I can say, I really like knowing that I can do this. And then I can scroll up. And I also like knowing that if I right click, I can pick from the color wheel. And do this. And I can scroll back. And I can say Control Z. I didn't like that. wanted it smaller. Still too big. Control Z. Scroll down a little bit more there we go that's a much nicer rectangle now I can do control s to save but when you do that it opens up your save dialog in the background for some reason it's not coming up above my browser window so just be aware if, it, if you don't see it kind of look around it may be in the background it's got the naming format that we chose so I'm gonna hit save and we'll go to our pictures folder There's our picture with our highlights. So it's a really nice, simple tool, very quick, very easy to use. I really like it, and it's called Flameshot. If you like this, like, subscribe, tell your friends about it. We'll say a special thank you to the patrons over at Patreon for supporting this channel, and to all of you that have subscribed to get weekly updates about the videos that I'm doing. I hope you like what I'm doing. If you have questions, please send me a message. That's it for this week, and I'll talk to you next time.